stopping out for an afternoon of family foraging fun. Oysters here are so great and taste amazing. Look at that nice cup shaped oyster. Almost clean already. And they're so prime. These are really nice big oysters. Nice slipper shape. Bacteria count should also be low. So this is an excellent time. I guess we haven't had many rains. We're not eating these oysters raw, we're cooking these. I've used a purging process, a fresh brine, and then immerse the oysters in the fresh brine for about 12 hours. There's oysters growing along the face. I'm gonna have to use masks here. See what type of tools and equipment we brought for this oyster hunt. This is a beautiful rock picking knife. Thomas, look. This can be used to slip in the shell and then slice the muscle. Uh Erickson, you can go for blunt force. You're going to use this and this. Yeah, it's got a safety handle. Okay. I under the oyster and then you hit it like this, make it pop right off the cement. Okay. Thomas, you are going to use. You remember how to use this one? Yeah. Jab it in and pull it up. Slide it in deeply and then lever it open and then use the knife to cut. Taking some directly out of the shell. <laughs> Let's get started. Nicely done, Thomas, with that cutting motion. Great. Harrison, go find a container. This one, it's just hanging in there. Our catch is starting to come together. Nice job, Erickson. Swimming every day. I like my oyster. I like my oysters. Zinc, magnesium, vitamins too. Oysters are a treat for me and you. Eat the oyster. Oh boy, boyster.
put the bucket here and let's start cleaning these up. This, see that? And just, these are gonna open up beautiful. I've got some experience barbecuing these. And barbecue's a great way to enjoy this type of oysters. Nice haul. We love these oysters. As I said, high in iodine, zinc, good for the immune system, good for the libido. This is a combination swimming snorkeling activity with a take home dinner. We had a nice catch here, full bucket, more than enough to bring to the barbecue. All right, go. We work and play. We have to split up the load. Venture boys at Island Thrive. Working a little catch and cook action. We were nailing oysters all morning. And now I'm getting a nice charcoal fire going from driftwood and coconut shells. Once this turns into char, burns down into charcoal, get those oysters on there, roast them until they open up. Whoa, easy guys. Another beautiful afternoon here in Panape, Micronesia. Flames still a little high, but there really are no rules to this. I and mean, really, it's just got to boil in its own juices. I made a sauce. Olive oil, soy, with some different vinegars. <laughs> and seasoning, some other aromatic herbs. Accentuate those oysters. If you're not careful, they can be a little bit dry if you overcook them on your barbie. Barbecuing them like this. Sometimes they take a little while. Most these are thick shells. Pretty big oysters. Three, four year old oysters minimum. As you can see, we've got a pretty good catch. We'll be barbecuing oysters all afternoon. Now, what we do is we just watch for bubbling. Okay, this one's done. 
as you can see there's just a tiny bit of water plus it's opened up so this is all the signs that you need up oh, there there's some bubbling already that means they're boiling in their shell and because we cracked the growth lips they should open up real nice okay you can see now they're all starting to bubble it didn't take long there's this one bubbling over now Look at the water running out of this one here. This one will be cooked in no time. And this one, it was on its side. So all the water drained out. I saw these guys boil over already. Nope, I can see that they're done. And in a way, they kind of keep cooking in their shells. Because the shell's so hot. You see this one smoking now? Smoking means over. Well, one way to know a catch and cook is a success is when everything gets eaten up. Everybody loved them and they were so delicious. Here's my special sauce. Since I'm the cook, I will get the last of the catch. The shell is so hot. Oh, look at it. The shell is so hot. Mmm. Oysters a la island thrive. Like and subscribe. Here at Island Thrive, after we finish a good activity, we always celebrate with plenty of fun. We'll see you in the next one.